When talking about scopes in object-oriented programming, we'll be looking at three different kinds of scope, which is public, private, and protected. So in this video, I'll read out the definitions of them, and in the subsequent video, I'll start demonstrating them so you will understand. And remember, in case this course is a little bit still um, too confusing because so many concepts are being introduced, uh, don't worry. Uh, we are going to do a practical. So what we're just doing now is just demonstration. We're going to do a practical and try to do an actual website with it. All right. Just many tiny little small website with it. So you understand how it all works together. All right. So we move and we see public. Public, unless you specify otherwise, properties and methods of a class are public. That is to say they may be assessed in three possible situations. The first is from outside the class in which it is declared, second from within the class in which it is declared, and third from within another class that implements the class in which it is declared. So basically, if you declare a variable or function as public inside a class, it means you can access that variable from anywhere. That's just what it means. All right. You can access that class from inside its that variable from inside its it, inside its class. You can access it from another class that extends it. Then you can access it from just anywhere. All right. So the next thing we're looking at is so what of when you declare it as private? When you declare it as private, private declaration limits the accessibility of a member, which is the private member cannot be referred to from classes that inherit the class in which it is declared and cannot be assessed from outside the class. Basically, in simple English, if you refer, if you declare a variable or a function as private, you cannot access it from outside that class. You understand? It will be as if it doesn't exist. Even if another class inherits that class, it will still not be able to access it. All right? We're going to see the practicals. Then, um, finally, I made a mistake here. This is supposed to be protected. So, a protect when you declare a variable as, a pro as protected, a protected property or method is accessible in the class in which it is declared quite all right it's also accessible in a class that extends that class but then it is not accessible outside those two kinds of classes so basically if you want a, a variable that is a property or a class a method to be accessible from the class that where you declared it and any other class that extends it then you declare it as protected you understand so it, it's available from the class you declared it and any other class that extends that class that is protected all right so uh, let's move over to the next video where we start actually using this the reason i declared uh, this is so that you will be able to uh, make reference back to this video and then understand uh the the definitions in case you need to get it all right thank you very much